Hi, good morning. I'm Paula from Flowers You Can Pour In. And today I'm going to finish off this um, lampshade, which is the result of mine and Amanda's last shopping trip. Um, and we got this at B&M. And this little lamp's already got quite a lovely stand on it. <clears throat> it was £6.99, a bit of a bargain. Um, and it was crucially white and plain. So what I'm going to do is take the wrapping off. That's the last thing we need anyone knowing. It was from B&M and Sheep. Okay. If you have a concession and are selling, um, these lamps are really um, crucially pat tested for you. So you don't have to have them tested. So you need to make sure that you keep that section um, attached to your label but you can obviously get rid of the 6.99 label so that's what we'll do so that's already been tested um, so we don't have to worry about that anymore it's legal to resell it I'm going to be using fairy sheep matte finish and a lovely friend of mine one of my stockists sent me a whole little ton of decoupage napkins in the post. I got a surprise parcel. How lovely is that? He also sent me, this is Lee, so thank you very much Lee. He also sent me these lovely um, smooth brushes which are from the works I believe to have a try. So I thought I'd use them for this because I think they'll be perfect. They're very soft. So thank you very much Lee. So what I've done is I've taken one napkin that I thought would go very well with this particular project comes like that with four and I've torn it down the cross section so that I've got four squares and the reason I've done that is when I've initially had two squares joined together I measured it round and it was going to leave the other one in a wonky place so this is about trying to get it as even as I can and obviously it's on a slant so that's another issue but the first thing I'm going to do is remove the back. So we've got one sheet, very translucent sheet, and two disregarded sheets. Now, if you wanted, you could paint this silky surface first before you do it. But because the background of this napkin is in its entirety white, I don't think it needs it. So all I'm going to do is dip my brush into the matte finish. I've got it yeah, as straight as we can. And I'm going to just start smoothing out. This brush is lovely. I'm not going to worry about all the edges, we can tidy that up after once it's dry. And it's immediately taken, because some of these slightly cheaper lampshades have, well I guess they're supposed to be satin, but I, in my view they look a bit cheap. And by putting this decoupage on it takes that sheen off it, which I prefer. Now I have regularly uh, done this to different lampshades that I have purchased and I've immediately been able to sell them <coughs> for about £20. So considering this was 6 99 and I have been able to get them cheaper, you can get them cheaper in sales. <coughs> what croaky throat today. Um, that's a really quite a good markup, especially if you're not taking hours and hours of time which I'm going to be showing you here, it really isn't, because I haven't painted it first. So I'm doubling my money with the price of a napkin, which is about a pound, I would say, if that. So there we are, I have my first butterfly on. I've still got the edges, but I'm not going to worry about that just yet. Now I'm going to go around to exactly the other side to put my second one on, 
This is all about trying to get the positioning right. So taking off the two back layers again. I turn it around so I've got my butterfly facing me. And this is the other side. Okay. So now back in with the matte finish. I could have put matte finish directly onto the lampshade. That wouldn't have been wrong either. I'm going to just have to quickly reposition that. But be gentle because this is fragile. Um, but I find this easier, especially if you've got a lovely soft brush. Um, you're not tearing it and having to reposition. You're only putting the matte finish where you want it to go. It's, this method works really well with napkins because napkins are thin enough for the matte finish to dissolve through it very quickly on its own. Uh, but if you were going to use rice paper or something that's slightly um, thicker, I would put the matte finish underneath and then matte finish again on top. But of course this matte finish that I'm spreading all over the top of this um, decoupage is actually serving not only to glue it to the surface, but because I've put it on the top, it's also going to serve as a kind of matte varnish. It will protect it. And when it goes hard, as it dries, this will be sealed and protected all in one go. There is no need to put another coat over the top. I could if I wanted to, but there isn't any need to because I'm putting quite a lot on as I'm doing what I'm showing you. So even more time saving. It's just a great product because it acts as both. There, so I've got my second um, butterfly on. Let me see. So now I've got to work out and do the join of the third. <coughs> and really, although it's got writing on, mm, what I'm going to do, I'm going to do some tearing at this point. Um, because I, what I don't want is a really straight edge because that will really emphasise the fact that I've joined bits up. So by tearing away and creating myself a kind of natural patchwork, I think it's going to join up and look much better. So, there we go. I'll show you what that looks like. Okay, so there is some overlapping, but that's okay. I think the picture's the wrong way around, yeah. That would have been a disaster, no. But because of the join, it should blend really quite easily into what I've already got. So again, going in with the matte finish, smoothing it out, and I'll show you close up in a minute so that you can actually see this join. And it really is the tearing that has saved the day even though because of the angle of the lampshade the writing is now sort of slightly in a different direction it doesn't matter it looks fine Just bring that a little bit closer for you. Can you see that the direction of the writing changes? But it kind of looks in keeping just because it's not got a dead straight line. And your main focus is always going to be 
just on the butterfly. So I now need to complete the third stage, fourth stage even, and then I will dry it off with a hairdryer and I will, once it's crispy dry, be able to trim off the excess around the top and the bottom and show you what it looks like, okay? So I'll just finish the third one, fourth one, and then show you what that looks like. Okay, so all I've done is use a pair of scissors to snip around the top and to show you quite close up, you can still see there's a few edges sticking up. So all I'm going to do is go back in with my matte finish and just use the brush to soften it and end it over the top. I could have used a bit of sandpaper, but I was worried that if I did, it might end up sanding further down onto the lampshade. So I thought this was the better of the two options. But by all means, try the other if you wish. But this is working really effectively. It's going to seal the top nicely so it's not going to look like anything's stuck on as such. It's going to give a nice seal. I think this is probably the better option. I've done this with all sorts of different napkins. So I've done this with um, Peter Rabbit for children's bedrooms. Um, I've done it with the gorgeous Wendell um, napkins for my own house. Um, but you can't do those to sell, so be careful with the Wendell napkins. It's always about the copyright. You need to be careful with Disney and any, any big label if you're going to be selling them. So that's really nicely finished off now around the edges and I just need to do the same. The bottom actually isn't as jazzy as the top one. So that's really pretty good. So I told you when we did this shot that this one was going to be a quickie and I'm not going to do anything more with that. Sometimes craft should be simple, sometimes craft should make you money and this certainly is a really good way if you're in the business of selling craft of turning something quite cheap into something that looks quite expensive. And that's what I wanted to share with you this week. This will be going up on my pitch and I will hopefully sell it very soon. So thank you, Lee, for the lovely uh, decoupage napkins that you sent me. Um, and thank you for the lovely brushes. Definitely soft brushes work the best with decoupage and they keep it smooth and they stop the um, napkin from tearing. And I have very recently created um, a Patreon page um, which I would love for you to join and if you pop on over to the trailer you will see kind of what we're going to be getting up to. It's going to be a lot more of my fine artwork showing you step by step all the way through. There are various tiers that you can um, sign up to depending on sort of what level of support or input you want um, but I would love for you to join and there is, a, there is a link to my Patreon page in the comments. So have a look, shimmy on over and see what's there. There's lots of tutorials and information and opportunities that aren't on my usual YouTube page. They're exclusive to my Patreon page. So pop on over. Until the next time, thank you very much for watching. Bye bye.